Hi everybody, welcome back to Paracord Planet. Today, we're going to be continuing our stopper knot series with a very useful knot known as the E-Star Knot. It is fairly easy once you do get the techniques down, but as I was practicing, I did find a few tips and tricks to hopefully help you along. With that said, let's get paracording! So for our project today, we do have our paracord. Now this technique will work for any size paracord. We do have our standard 550 in neon yellow. And of course, this will be a stopper knot, so it will work the best on the end of a bracelet or if you wanna hang something. So our first step, we are going to take our paracord and we are going to make a little bit of a loop right over top of itself, just like that. We're going to take the right working strand. We are going to go behind everything. We want to wrap it around itself so that it makes one twist around the actual loop itself. We want to continue with that right working strand and we want to bring it through the loop. At this point, we can start tightening down just a little bit. We don't want to tighten too tight at this point. And you do want something that looks like that. For our next step, we're going to take the same right working strand and we're going to go underneath the loop that we had just made. So if you can see right there, we're going in between the two loops around the core strand. Through. So at this point, you want something that looks like that. We're then going to continue with the same strand. We're going to bring it through the two loops that we have just made on the right side of our, of our weave. If you can see the top down right there, it's going through both of those loops. Coming down. And we do want to form a little bit of a loop on the top. Now at this stage, we want to grab both of our loops by the right side and we want to bring those together in the back so that they are sitting flush with each other. We're going to take our same working strand and we're going to bring it through both of those loops. Now from this point, where it differs a little bit from, let's say, the diamond knot, the diamond knot, you can sort of form the shape that you would like it to be in at the end. With this, it's more of like the Turk's head knot, where we have to individually start cinching our paracord. Just continue cinching down until you are happy with the final product. So here we have our completed E-Star stopper knot. And you may have noticed at the very beginning that we did start out with just a bunt line hitch knot, but the tail end right here, we did pass through the bunt line. And this way, if there is any slipping with any of the tension on both of our cords, they are going to pull in opposite directions to just make the knot tighter. Now, because of that, this is going to be the perfect knot for any situation where you may want to pull something or even hang something. You know, like if you want to pull your car out of a snow ditch in the middle of April. Just normal stuff that happens every day. We are going to be incorporating this knot into a future project, so definitely hit that subscribe button and that bell for future notifications. And a big thank you to everybody who has already liked and subscribed our videos. Of course, if there's anything that you would like to see in a future video, just let us know down in the comments below. Have yourself a great rest of the day. We'll see you on the next video.